in this lecture we are going to continue with the system modeling now the next uh, big asset in the system is this transformers so transformers you can have two of two types one is the two winding transformer and one is the three winding transformer first of all let us discuss two winding transformer modeling a typical transformer has two windings one is the primary winding and the other one is the secondary winding so if we want to model any transformer mathematically what we first do is create the transformer from its physical uh, structure into an equivalent circuit so the equivalent circuit of a uh, uh, two winding transformer is like this here you have this primary winding and then here g naught represents the iron losses of the transformer whereas bm represents the magnetization current at no load then there is this winding which is a transformation ratio and then this is the secondary resistance and impedance ep is the primary voltages whereas es is the secondary voltages whether the transformer is going to be step up or step down will depend upon this value so what we can do we can represent this uh, secondary side uh, 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 resistance on the primary side of the system simply by dividing it by its uh, ratio this transformation ratio so now the same equivalent circuit is going to become like this so here we have divided it by the transformation ratio and here we have seen. now if you see it is a series parallel circuit rp and rs are in series with each other similarly xp and xs by n square are in series within each other so we can represent this uh, equivalent circuit as rt which will be the total resistance xt which will be the total reactance and this is where rt will be equal to r please rp plus rs similarly xt will be equal to this and in normal what we do we usually do not consider this because these values are very small so we can neglect the value of conductance and the magnetization current the no load magnetization current and the these conduction losses so if we uh, neglect these iron losses and the magnetization current then what we will get we will get simply rt plus xt so what do we need from a transformer we only need the values of resistance and reactance the r value will provide us with the transformer losses where xt will provide us with the transformer reactive losses so in usually uh, when you will see that in a name plate rating of the transformer uh, usually this only impedance is provided so whenever the impedance is provided you can estimate the value of r uh, from this value with the help of this ieee standard c37.10-192792 uh, and the value for xt calculated from here is x is equal to z square minus r square under the root similar pythagoras theorem because uh, basically what is z z is your total impedance which is the combination of your r part and the x part but in order to calculate this uh, r part or x part you will be needing x by r ratio or r by x ratio so typically in a transformer you will find these values given so if uh, these values are given x by r values are given with the help of these x by r values you can calculate the uh, if you have uh, z value available and x by r available then you can separately calculate r and x so here theta will be equal to tangent inverse of x by r and x will be equal to sin theta into z and where r will be equal to x divided by x by r so using this formula you can individually calculate the value of r and x if you have value of z and x by r available with you so when we look at a three winding transformer what do we mean by a three winding transformer instead of two winding this transformer is going to have three windings and how we are going to name those three uh, windings uh, if we look at this equivalent circuit here you see this first winding can be known as winding 1 or high voltage whereas the second winding can be known as winding 2 or uh, lv voltage whereas winding 3 can be known as tertiary voltage or winding 3 so and similarly here r0 and x0 are the losses within the transformer in two winding transformer the mva rating of the two windings is uh, same that is whatever is the mva rating on the primary side the same will be on the secondary side whereas in the three winding transformer all the three windings may have different mva ratings so usually what happens is that you will be given the value of this z1 z2 and z3 in the form of 
uh, per unit so if you have this per unit and on their own mva rating the mva rating of this winding mva rating of this winding and mva rating of this winding if such is the case then how can you calculate so you can calculate the impedances like this so z1 to 2 from hv side to lv side it will be equal to z1 plus z2 which means the impedance of z1 plus the uh, impedance of z2 if you will add them you are going to get the impedance from z1 to z2 similarly from 1 to 3 you have to add this impedance winding 1 impedance with the winding 3 impedance for z2 3 you have to add these two so this is how you get the values and similarly reverse if you are provided with the values of z1 2 z1 3 and z2 3 here z1 2 can also be known as z hl or hv2 lv z13 will be hv2 tv or the tertiary voltage and z23 will be equal to lv2 tertiary voltage so if you are given these values you can convert them into z1 z2 and z3 simply by using this formula z1 will be equal to z12 plus z13 minus z23 divided by 2 so if you see what basically we are trying to do uh, for z1 we are trying to add the both the impedances of z1 and subtracting the impedance of z23 which is uh, uh, which does not uh, include the part of z1 and simply dividing it by 2 because we are adding it together so it will be two times because here z1 is one time here one time here so it will be two times so when you divide it by 2 you are going to have z1 so this way you can calculate the transformer impedances